fringe benefits. Hi, I'm Rachel. Today I'll be discussing some tips and traps you may experience with FBT. FBT is a tax that employees pay in relation to the provision of certain benefits to their employees. The tax is assessed and is payable annually. The FBT year differs from the financial year as it commences on 1 April and concludes on 31 March of the following year. A fringe benefit is defined as a benefit provided to an employee by an employer under an arrangement with that employer in respect of employment. The most common fringe benefits that you would be aware of include car, car parking, living away from home allowances, entertainment, expense payments, property and loan fringe benefits. Not all benefits are captured and some of the exclusions and exemptions include salary and wages, ETPs, compensation payments and super. Minor and frequent benefits that cost less than $300 may also be exempt. For example, relatively inexpensive Christmas gifts you buy your employees. Other work-related items such as laptops and mobile phones may also not attract any FBT. It's always important to consult your accountant at WMS if you're unsure. I'll now give you some brief information about car fringe benefits. A car fringe benefit arises when a car that is held by the employer is made available for private use by an employee. If you are an employer, the most important thing to remember is your record keeping. Always record the opening and closing odometer readings, the total operating costs paid by you and the employee, and the employee's private use for the year. The more detailed and thorough your record keeping, the easier it will be for your accountant to correctly record the taxable value and effectively minimise your tax. If you are an employee and you have been provided with a car to use for private use, there are chances that fringe benefits will apply. This will not impact your taxable income, however, if reportable fringe benefits have been recorded on your group certificate, this may impact certain allowances, tax offsets and government payments. If you use your employer's car only for business purposes, but you garage it at your main residence, some FBT implications may still occur. If you need any assistance or want any advice, please do not hesitate to contact your accountant at WMS.